Hi guys. Uh, this afternoon we're going to go over charting and uh, why charting is so important to growing your business. When you first start out, uh, we all start out at the basic distributor level. But as we rank up and promote, we reach different, obviously we have different titles. And the different titles, the different ranks we reach, uh, enable us to earn more money. The first level you're going to look at after you first sign up is an executive level. And what the executive level means is that you have two distributors underneath you and they both have a total group volume of at least 400. You have, that's two qualified legs. That's all you need to reach the executive level. When you hit executive level, you start earning not only your first and second level, but you also earn on your third level as well. Now how you fill these out is, oh, let's, let's use, uh, put my name in here, and then let's say put uh, Sandy in one, and let's put Brad M in one. Now, in order for Sandy to have 400 volume, that is a, com a combination of her personal orders, her auto ship order, her per any other personal order she's done, and the volume of anybody she may have underneath her. Let's say Sandy has five loyal customers who have each, who are each spending fifty dollars per month and she also has one distributor and that distributor has three loyals and between that distributor and those three loyals they spend on average uh, let's say let's say two hundred dollars a month between those the distributor and those three loyals. So Sandy's volume is a total of these five loyal customers at $50 per month, say. So that would give her $250 there. And then the distributor that's under her and her that distributor's three loyals spend another 200. So that gives Sandy a total volume right there of 450. So there's a qualified leg. That's all you need there is Sandy and everybody underneath her to have a total of 400. And then let's go over to Brad and let's say Brad has three loyals and each of his loyals are only spending, they're only getting fat fighters, so they're only spending $23 a month, each of them. So Brad's loyals between them, between those three, are spending uh, roughly it's sixty nine dollars. And let's say Bradley's auto ship, he spends um, let's say eighty five dollars. So you have your uh, sixty nine and your eighty five. So that's a total of. 154 there. So this, the way it would stand right now, uh, I wouldn't reach the executive level if this is what my month ended like because I need both of those legs. I need Sandy and Brad both to each have a minimum of 400 volume in order for me to rank as executive. Uh, so that's why, you know, our, our four little customers and our two distributors that ever that we push in your first 30 days that is pretty much guaranteeing uh, a 400 volume for you you know so in in the end our, our end goal is five distributors and four loyal customers because five distributors is all you need on your front line to take you all the way to the diamond level but you know we're not We'll get to that one in a little bit. After executive is your Ruby. To reach Ruby, you need two qualified legs on your front level that's directly under you. 
and an executive on your front level. So let's say, we get me in here. Let's say we have, we'll use Brad M again. And then I'll use hubby. And we'll use Jeff. No, we will not use Jeff. We will use, we'll use Sandy. And under Sandy, she has, let's say, Melissa and Scott. Okay. So what I need is obviously 400 volume out of Bradley and his entire team under him. I need 400 volume out of my husband and his entire team under him. And then I also need an executive leg, which is a distributor who has two 400 volume legs under them. Um, once you hit Ruby, then you start earning on your first level, your second level, and 5% on your third and fourth levels. So, and, and you know, Ruby is, is actually really not hard to reach. Um, you should, if you're, if you're doing your parties, if you're doing two parties a month, like I recommend, two parties a month, you should have no problem reaching Ruby uh, in less than, I'd say, 60 days if you're doing your parties the way you should be. Um, you know, some of us do it without parties, but if you do parties, you, it will definitely help you grow quicker. Definitely help you grow quicker. Uh, the next rank is Emerald. You can see it's really starting to grow here now. Uh, for Emerald, you need four distributors on your front line. These are directly under you. Your name would go right here at the top. Your distributors that you personally enrolled and kept would go here. So let me say I'll put Brad here. Jeff. Hubby, and Sandy. So you need two of these people, two of your directly enrolled distributors, you need two of them to have reached Ruby in order for you to promote to Emerald. And again, here is the Ruby chart. It's uh, two qualified legs and an executive leg. And you just, uh, you know, you fill these charts in as you go. I, I know I've posted my charts many times in the group. Uh, I, I keep a running track of total group volume all month long. I can tell you it, you know, on any given day of the month how much volume you have and what you need to rank up to your next level. I mean, these are charts that we should all be filling out for ourselves because having them right there in front of you on a piece of paper next to your computer, it really is helpful to you to see exactly what you need and where you need it. Because a lot of times, uh, after you start growing a little bit, you might sign a new distributor and you'll realize, hmm, I, I shouldn't keep them for myself. Because like I said, to get to Diamond, you only need you only need five distributors to reach the diamond level. You only need five on your front line. So let's let's fill mine in. Let's go. Let's go, Jeff, Hubby, Brad. Leslie and Sandy. So once you have these five on your front line, 
then you, you might find someone who's interested in being a distributor and you realize, well, I could keep them for myself, but if I place them somewhere else in my organization, that will help me promote faster. So let's say, uh, okay, let's use Jeff here as an example. He has Cheryl, Pam, and Allie. And then under Pam, there is Stacy, Debbie, and actually Pam has Kim T as well. So let's say, you know, Jeff would have Pam as his executive leg. And over here, Sandy has Scott. Melissa, yeah, and under Melissa we have John, Angela, Anna. All right, and I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm just trying to give you an idea. Say, uh, for instance, this is you. Let's let's go up here and change me to you. This is you and this is going to be you this is definitely going to be you in the diamond spot it's just a matter of learning where to put people when they sign up um, so let's say you have your top five filled and now you have a new distributor distributor that wants to join under you you're sitting here looking at this and you're saying hmm now where should I put them well, you realize you need a distributor here because in order for you to rank to diamond, you need somebody to reach Emerald. And she might be lacking in distributors. So, you know, you can look at this and say, well, the, this leg, Melissa here, Melissa's leg is pretty close to reaching Ruby. So how about if I take this new person and I put them right there. Well, now you've just filled in one more piece of the puzzle for your diamond. And then say, Sandy signs another new distributor. Well, she might, she might keep them for herself or she might place them down. The way this chart looks right here, it would be smarter for her to keep them for herself because she needs to have, you know, certain people certain places but you'll learn that as you the more you do your charts at the lower levels you know don't wait don't wait until you're you've ranked up to Ruby to start doing your charts the, the sooner you start doing them the more comfortable you'll be with them and the more you'll you'll be able to look at them and just know right away from looking where you should put a new team member when they sign up um, you know, and it can change too. You know, you might have, you might have your chart all filled out thinking, oh, this is going to work this way. And then all of a sudden, a particular distributor that you've signed up takes off like a shot and you realize, wow, that, that leg is now, uh, moving really quickly. So now that leg will be used as one of my Ruby legs so I can promote instead of, uh, Let's say we have uh, in this on this page here. Let's say I had Sandy in the Ruby section. Well, let's say Jeff's leg all of a sudden decided to take off, take off, and and Sandy's was building, but it wasn't building quite as fast. Well, you'd you'd probably move Jeff over onto the Ruby leg and move Sandy onto the 400 leg. So it's just you know whatever you just move things around as you need them, like I said. But it at least these charts give you a good idea of. Uh, what you're doing and what you need in order to promote. Uh, like I said, with the Ruby level, you earn 10% on your first and second levels and 5% on your third and fourth levels. Emerald is your first major goal because once you hit Emerald, then you earn 5% on your fifth level and you also earn 
on every level underneath that all the way down to infinity so you know you really start your income can really really shoot up as soon as you hit the emerald level uh, diamond is even better you also get another bonus once you hit diamond and you also uh, like we all get our fa the fast start bonuses right now when you sign a new distributor and they get their first two loyal customers inside 30 days the uh, enrolling sponsor gets a uh, hundred dollar fast start bonus uh, let's say Bradley signs a new distributor next week and a week after that she gets two loyal customers well that would mean Bradley would get a hundred dollar fast start bonus for that once you hit the diamond level every new distributor you sign up personally after you are diamond you're gonna get the fast start bonus for them just like you do now but you also get what's called a customer acquisition bonus which means um, say I reach diamond and I sign Pam up after I'm a diamond well Pam gets her first two loyal customers I get my hundred dollar fast start bonus I also get an eighty dollar customer acquisition bonus because I'm a diamond now let's say Pam signs up a new distributor and that new distributor gets her two loyal customers in her first 30 days well Pam is still going to get the hundred dollar fast start bonus for that but I am still going to get an eighty dollar customer acquisition bonus as a team leader as a you know they're basically leadership bonuses that go into effect once you hit diamond um, and those customer acquisition bonuses keep going down it doesn't matter how how deep in the levels it is uh, Pam's new distributor could sign a new distributor and as soon as she gets her two customers uh, she'll get the hundred dollar fast start bonus but again I will still get a uh, eighty dollar customer acquisition bonus so they're you know the the bonus structure once you hit diamond is is incredible don't get discouraged by looking at this diamond worksheet it's not nearly as scary as you think it might be because you're not doing this alone you are not doing this alone every distributor you sign up underneath you is going to build too so you know you're gonna have a whole lot of help filling in all these little block boxes with uh, distributors and you know and that's that's what we are promoting you know it, we're trying to build teams so and I you know today this was just to really show you how the charting system works and how it can help you uh, see what you need see how close you are to promoting every month and if you don't know how to find your volume I'll show you that quick just uh, log into your e-suite And you go to your performance, your performance dashboard, scroll down and click on levels detail. And it will show you everybody's group volume on your team. So, you know, you can you can write down the group volume in the little boxes so you can keep track exactly where it is it's listed under GV so it's really easy to find there's you know no no problem at all finding uh, your volume but that's you know that's really easy to do that and you can just like I said write it in every month I, I start keeping track of volume at about the seventh or eighth of the month just so I can track it and I can see you know what areas might need some help you know you might have a distributor like here like I said Bradley has three loyals under him but they they don't spend much you know they're they they're on the lower side so if you get a new loyal customer you might not keep them for yourself you might give them to a distributor underneath you who needs a little bit of a boost to get them to hit that 400 volume because that's what you need you need you need the people under you to have 400 volume each leg to be considered a qualified leg and so you know you'll give you know you'll give customers away to your team you'll give distributors away to your team and you know you might find other teams that tell you don't do that don't give people away and I'm never gonna I will not tell you that I think the way to build a successful to make your business successful is to help 
your team members and in helping your team members you help yourself you know if you uh, are just planning on building 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 under yourself and making a quick buck you might make some money in the beginning but in the long term you know it's all gonna explode to to build long-term stability you need to build smartly and if you know if you have any questions on how you should build um, if you have a new distributor a new loyal customer and you're not sure where you should put them or if you should put them if you should keep them for yourself if you should give them away who you should give them to you can always message me text me ask me my advice I'll help you in any way I can like I said I keep track of everybody's volume I keep track of everybody's rank I can you know I can tell you usually within five minutes exactly what you need to promote to the next level at any given time of the month so but print these out um, I'll put a link in the group so you can print these out and just start uh, like I said just start charting it's important to start doing this in the beginning so you by the time you get to Ruby you should be pretty good at charting because then Emerald starts to get a little more intense because there's a whole lot more boxes and Diamond is even more intense so you know get into it slowly start at the executive and and you know start charting now because you don't want to pick up a chart for the first time when you're about ready to promote to Emerald and you're completely lost when you look at the charts and not know how to use them so I hope you I hope this helps uh, explain how charting works to you like I said if you have any questions though just let me know